New coach, no problem. Head coach Craig Nicholson and the ASU softball team have won the Diamond Neville Invitational and proving to 17-0. Now, head coach Craig Nicholson did say at the beginning of the season and promised that he was going to be more aggressive on the base paths, and that promise is being withheld because ASU is 25 of 30. Yeah, you heard that right. 25 of 30 on the base paths. Another amazing stat from the weekend. 13 home runs from seven starters. That's insane. And a lot of people, especially these players and coaches, are really saying this ASU softball team is coming together more and more after every single tournament. Let's see how they did it. It was the Jennifer Soria show this weekend at Farrington. She exploded this weekend with two doubles, two home runs, and nine RBIs with only nine at-bats. Soria, along with Alex Johnson, helped ASU put 14 over the wall in Farrington and helped ASU outscore opponents 48-7. The dominance was especially in the circle this week, and as all-star duel of Dallas Escobedo and Mackenzie Popescu finished the weekend almost perfect, only giving up one run and striking out 32 as they both finished 2-0 on the weekend. Another ASU pitcher with notable playing time was Alexis Cooper, who had eight innings on the weekend and only giving up one earned run. I mean, we're playing great. I mean, I think this game put us at 17-0. Um, you know, we're, we're coming together as a team, um, especially with the coaching staff as well. It's a whole new coaching staff. We have a lot of young players, but um, a lot of people are getting opportunities in these games. and. Um, they're getting a feel for what ASU softball is all about. So um, I think we're doing really well so far. Well, I mean, I think we're playing well. Um, you know, we've, we've started a bunch of different lineups here in the last eight games probably. And, um, you know, different people are coming through on different days. So I think that's, that's a good thing for down the road. Obviously, when you get against better pitching, different people are going to match up better. So, you know, the, uh, being able to get production from all different parts of our offense is, uh, of our lineup is, is huge for us. But we're playing well right now. we got to just make sure that we stay focused and don't, don't take anything for granted as we, you know, as we move into the next weekend. Well, I, th I mean, I think the, the thing for us is, you know, the competition over the next couple of weeks is going to get a little bit better. Um, and, you know, that's good for us. We need to go test ourselves against against some better ball clubs and, you know, how are we going to respond to that? And, and, I, and I feel like at some point over the next couple of weekends, we're going to have to rally. And we haven't, you know, we, we've won 17 games in a row, but we had never had to come from behind, truly come from behind, except for maybe one game last weekend. And that was still pretty early in the ball game. So, uh, you know, important for us to, you know, to continue to, to be prepared and um, just be ready for what we're going to see in the next couple of weeks. Tournament play will continue for this ASU softball team as they play in the Louisville Slugger Invitational next week here in Farrington starting from Thursday to Sunday. It's going to be a great one. WCSN will have the full coverage of ASU softball on our page at CronkiteSports.com. From Farrington Stadium, I'm Jake Gaiden, WCSN.